Hello fellow cosmic adventurers and welcome to the True Rest Float Spa. I'm the Float Guru and will be your guide throughout this process. Next to me is the amazing, the extraordinary Float Pod. The Float Pod was invented in the 1950s by Dr. John C. Lilly and was doing research on brain waves and altered states of consciousness. The pod provides an environment that suspends your body in a zero gravity like state and is a powerful tool for relaxation, pain relief and getting a better night's sleep. This is accomplished with about 1,200 pounds of magnesium sulfate, more commonly known as Epsom salts, which is dissolved in 200 gallons of water heated to skin temperature. You are about to embark on an incredible journey. Ah, the familiar sensation of floating feels like a part of you is returning home, a state akin to being in the womb. Your body floats on the surface without any effort. This sensation can be extremely euphoric and energizing but flotation is a serious therapy, and the first few sessions may make you sleepy if your body undergoes some detoxification reactions. Later sessions will leave you feeling refreshed, energized, aware, and joyful. Think of it as a reset button, physically and mentally. You may hit a wall upon getting in, but should settle down after a bit. There are a lot of positions you can try, including the I surrender, which is good for those with upper back and neck pain, the plank, which is very common position, mummy, mild dance, and several more. Find a comfortable position and try to stay as still as possible. This is very important. Do not move. We are tricking our brains into thinking we are asleep. Make sure not to splash around in the pod or scratch an itch on your face to avoid getting the salt water into your eyes. Okay, this is a common problem. Let's take a few deep breaths and begin some simple relaxation techniques. Count your breaths. Both the inhale and exhale count as one. Count up to 300. Yes, 300. If your mind begins to wander, this is perfectly normal. Do not get frustrated and return to counting your breaths. As you begin to relax deeper and deeper, your brain will begin to shift to the theta brainwave state. Normally, we are in a beta brainwave state upon waking, indicated by a faster wave or higher brain frequency. After 20 to 40 minutes in the pod, the brainwave shift from the faster beta wave state to the slower or lower frequency theta state. Theta wave activity has been associated with greater cognitive potential, long-term memory storage, and enhanced creativity. Children have more theta wave activity than adults, and thus they tend to be a little more creative and carefree. True Rest also offers testing on HeartMath's heart rate coherence device. The float pod can have a huge impact on our overall mood and the electromagnetic field of the heart and body. As you relax deeper and deeper, very lucid and profound states are possible. But these are rare and only occur to about 3 to 5% of clients. It's important not to pursue any state, but remain calm and relaxed. Focus on breathing. If you are experiencing pain or have chronic pain, it's possible these parts will seem more intense in the pod during the beginning to the middle session of your float, as your mind has nothing else to focus on. Internal studies have shown chronic pain will drop 40 to 50% in the first float, down to 80% or 90% relief by the third float. Other benefits include preventing sports injuries, speeding healing, decreasing cortisol production, lactic acid and adrenaline, increased endorphin production, decreased swelling, improved circulation, reduces blood pressure, heart rate and oxygen consumption, promotes calm, eliminates fatigue and jet lag, improves sleep and the chances of having lucid dreams, energizes, shifts brain waves, improves mental clarity, intensifies acuteness of all senses, accelerates learning, cooks toast, oh wait, and diminishes depression and addictions. Floating is a tool but it can take a few times before you know how to properly utilize this tool. Just like working out or dieting, it will take a few floats before even the minor benefits truly begin to manifest and requires more use before profound benefits can be realized. Tension, pain, anxiety, stress, and frustration didn't form overnight and it will take time for you to be able to release these on a significant scale. Please stick with us for a few sessions. If you are getting bored or your mind is overactive, stay calm. Many people will get out at this point. If anything, endure the full 60 minute float and your body, mind, and spirit will thank you later. This is your time. If you are bored by you, what does that say about you? Cherish your time alone. Toning in the pod can help an overactive mind. Toning is basically creating a tone like mmm or ah, and maintaining this tone. This is very interesting in the pod as the solution acts as a liquid crystal and the sound vibration can resonate and can potentially be heard in the solution for some time after the sound is created. In rare cases, nausea is possible. This could be a sign of the body detoxifying or a kidney disorder. Please consult your doctor should you experience prolonged nausea. In many cases, those that hold stress in their stomach get nauseous during times of escalated stress. Nausea in the pod could be a sign of your body finally letting go of this stress. 
If nausea persists, please get out, as vomiting, while extremely rare, is possible. Enjoy! Remember, this is your time. You will learn to love the time with yourself. This does take practice, but you are always worth it. In the last five minutes, the music will turn back on. In the last few minutes, stretch. If the light is off, it will turn back on two minutes prior to the filter starting. If you wait too long, you'll be sucked into the filter. No, just kidding. But the water will splash around a bit and could it get into your eyes. You will likely sleep much better after the float and be in a joyous, mellow mood for a few days afterwards. Pay attention to how you feel for the next few days. You will likely notice a huge difference. Remember, the more you get used to the process of floating, the better the benefits get. I recommend relaxing in the lounge for a few minutes after the float. There is no rush, and you may stay as long as you wish. Have some tea or water while you relax, and don't forget to try the flavored oxygen bar after the float. That's it from me, the float guru. Enjoy your float. Safe travels, cosmic journeyers.